Hi, my name is Carrick, and I'm here at the Solar Decathlon in Washington, D.C. The Decathlon is a competition of 20 universities from around the world to build the best solar-powered house. Each house has to be 800 square feet or less, produce all of its own electricity, all of its own heat, all the hot water. It can't look like a moon base. Um, I said it can't look like a moon base. Yeah, that's better. And it has to produce enough extra electricity to power an electric car. No, 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 that's not an electric car. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Tesla Roadster, totally electric. Zero to 60 under four seconds. Oh, right, solar houses. Okay, so before I show you the houses from this year's decathlon, I should first explain that on each house, you'll see solar electric panels, which produce electricity from the sun, and solar hot water panels, which use heat from the sun to heat water. Now on to the houses. Carnegie Mellon University. This house design is named Tripod because of its three modular spaces. The kitchen, bedroom, and work living spaces are built to connect to a utility core for the plug and play design. The north side features a greenscape as well as the green roof. This uses a rainwater collector to irrigate the plants. Heating is done through the radiant hot water in the floor, which is zoned for each room. The four inch thick wall panels have R30 insulation. The solar panels generate 6.88 kilowatts. Georgia Institute of Technology. This house is called Icarus, sustaining life with light. The walls of the house are translucent. Two sheets of polycarbonate enclose aerogel fillet. Aerogel is the lightest known solid and is an excellent insulator. The roof is also translucent with aerogel fillet. The horizontal louvers help shade the walls from direct sunlight, which reduces unwanted heat gain. The clerestory windows provide light on all four sides of the house. The solar panels produce 6.5 kilowatts and track the sun. Cornell University. The solar panels are attached to a separate structure on the roof, a light canopy. Nano walls are sliding glass doors that can be arranged to create different spaces such as a sunroom, living room, or an extended deck. The walls are structural insulated panels which have an R value of 40. Solar evacuated tubes heat the water for domestic hot water and for heating through the hot air system. Automated system controls, part of the lighting, HVAC, solar hot water, and appliance systems for the highest efficiency. Lawrence Technical University. One unique feature of the Lawrence Tech House is a solar chimney, which uses energy from the sun to naturally ventilate the building. It ventilates through the skylight opening. The exterior siding of the house is Rhine zinc, which is zinc titanium material that is 100% recyclable. It is not coated or painted. It is long lasting and requires minimal energy to produce. The building is made from locally sourced sustainable materials. For example, the decking material is made of a composite of rice hulls and polymer. Penn State. This house features a three-part design approach. The first is the dining space, which is the heart of the home and is bathed in natural light. The second is the technical core, which is the brains of the home. This includes the mechanical, bath, and kitchen systems. Third is the breezeway, which is the lungs of the home. These are solar tiles for the siding that resemble slate. The exterior sliding panels adjust for summer, which shades from direct southern exposure in the living space. In winter, the panels adjust for direct energy gain. The milk bottle wall diffuses winter light and highlights a regional material. Kansas Project Solar House. 
This home features some innovative technology inside the home. The centrifugal clothes dryer uses a fraction of the energy of conventional heated dryers. Fascinating. Induction cooktop heats the cookware and the food inside it, never getting hot to the touch. A mix of daylight and indirect fluorescence provide most of the light. The countertops and floor tile are made of enviroglass, which is a recycled post-consumer and industrial glass.